Hi, this is Leah Leininger, the Health Sciences Librarian. I'm going to demonstrate how to find court cases in LexisNexis Academic. First, please start on the library homepage, library.uncg.edu. I'd suggest that you go to the Research Guide for Nursing and go to the Guide for Nursing 620. There are different projects that students do during different semesters, but finding court cases is one that comes up pretty regularly. So this is where I typically have um, not just a link to LexisNexis, but a few screenshots. And this guide will change. Don't be dismayed if you watch this video and it looks a bit different in real life than what you see in the video. Here's LexisNexis Academic. It has a lot of great stuff. News. Uh, business information, also lots of legal information, I'd suggest that you go to the subset that is just court cases. Click on search by subject, then federal and state cases. Once you get into this narrow area of LexisNexis, you can set some uh, search limits and set up a search in advanced. Click on a calendar to cut out results that are older than the date you want. So for instance, I will click to the earliest possible date that I would accept and hit the, hit the <laughs> number to set the date. And then, ta-da, I click on the second calendar and I will put a more recent date. There, I've got date limits set. Now, something else that can be helpful. I can limit my search to certain sections of court case records. For instance, select a segment. I can limit to cases that have a LexisNexis summary. That's sort of a gray area in the top of some of the court case records. It usually has the basic information about a case that helps you decide, do you want this case or not? So it's good to narrow your search down to cases that have that kind of record or have that area, that kind of information. And also, you can search within that summary for some of your keywords. For instance, if I'm interested in researching nurses and negligence, um, I might type where it says insert terms, nurses and negligence. And as a special search command, it's going to search for both of my terms in any order of each other. Okay. Um, there are more advanced commands that you could use if you find you have way too many results. You could search for your terms uh, close to each other, for instance, within a certain number of words of each other. If I were to do this search and I got thousands of results, I might change it to search for the word nurses within 12 uh, words of the word negligence in any order whatsoever. I'm going to stick with a basic AND command for now. And yes, there are other things you can limit to. Right now, by default, the search is set up all federal and state courts. If you um, click over this menu of everything that's selected, you'll notice we get everything from the U.S. Supreme Court to all of the district courts um, throughout the federal system. And of course, uh, different circuits if you want to limit by area. And LexisNexis also has records from state court systems. So, for instance, uh, you can see you can limit by a specific state if you wanted to. Uh, I don't recommend it at this time, but that's a thought. Uh, just to let you know, in LexisNexis, these records for the state courts are going to be the highest courts in each state. So, for instance, the Supreme Court in North Carolina is included. Also, if the state system has an appeals court, those records will be in here. There are no records in LexisNexis for the trial level or the entry level of cases uh, for the state system. So, for instance, you get a traffic ticket here in Guilford County, that record's not going to be in LexisNexis. In fact, it's kind of hard to find the entry level, the trial level um, records, full text of those cases for the state systems online. If you're super interested in finding the first kind of 
full text uh, record of a court case from where it began in a state system, you're going to need to do a little hunting around and you might actually have to pay a fee to, um, to that court or visit them in person. So for now, I'm just going to say yay to, this, to the federal courts that I'm searching from all the way the trial level up to the Supreme Court of the U.S. and yay to the records for all of the state cases from uh, the appeals to the highest court. I'll hit apply to set up my search now. And then I also need to hit the search button. So <clears throat> when I get results, a good thing to do is to sort by relevance. You don't have to do it, but if I get lots of results like this, see hundreds and hundreds, it's nice to see the most relevant ones up first. And then I can click into the title of a case to read a little more about it. I see this one. I can look through the overview and you'll notice it highlights my terms nicely. I can see where the term nurse was found and where the term negligence was found. Um, I might also look at that summary to see um, how much legalese is in there, uh, how much of the case involves precedence and things like that. So two things that you might want to look at is uh, are one uh, is the content of it. Is it really interesting to you in terms of what happened? But also, um, is it pretty straightforward to read the summary? If it is, then you can scroll on down to look at the rest of the case. And up here in the right corner are some commands for keeping the text of this because Obviously, if you get up and walk away after maybe 30 minutes or so, um, sorry, I don't know the exact limit. LexisNexis is a database. It will time out on you. Your session will end. So if you see a case that you like, save a copy of it. And you can do that by hitting the print command, hitting the email command, or using the disk to save a copy. Those are your choices here. So I hope that this has been a helpful, quick look at searching for cases in LexisNexis Academic. Ways to get help. You can chat with a librarian by phone or by typing in a chat box. Also, back on the research guide for nursing, you will see my contact information. Underneath my picture in this chat box, you get a phone number and an email address. Um, give me a try when you need help, but I'll let you know. Typically I'm available or <laughs> typically I'm scheduled <laughs> weekdays between nine and five. I do work some evening and weekend shifts, um, but reach out to me uh, if you need help finding a court case. Please keep in mind uh, that I will get back to you as soon as I can. Allow about 24 hours response time during the week and um, and I look forward to working with you. Good luck. Thank you.